Welcome to my channel everybody. Today I'm going to be talking about this international LT that is uh, the model of this international LT rider. It's at well, I don't know what year this is, but uh, let's find out. Let me let me see if I can get the exact year of this uh, international. Uh, I think a uh, letter L. It's a, it's a 2020. This is a 2020 uh, international. But let me double check. I wanna give you the right information. I just don't wanna guess. Uh, oh yeah, it's a 2020. Based on the stickers over here, see 2019 uh, build. Uh, that's a, uh, this is a 2020, 2020 trucks. Mm -hmm. 019. Well, I don't know if it's 19 or 20. Well, anyway, close enough. Uh, it could be a 2020 or it could be a 2019. Not sure exactly. But we have a X15 engine, and that's for sure we have this engine in here. And uh, um, well, uh, the problem with we have, and that is what we're going to be talking about on this uh, X15. Cummins engine and as you know the X15 is the newer platform uh, Cummins engines for heavy duty uh, trucks so that's what we're now be talking about uh, let's get comfortable here see right here uh, it's pretty risky anyway um, the engine is completely apart and the problem that we're having is this right here have you ever seen something like this um, this is a very severe problem um, I never uh, got the chance to see something like this. That this one has a, a hole in it. Uh, it's kind of uh, rare to see these kind of problems. You can see the damage around the piston. And uh, that is caused because of the cylinder head uh, drop a bolt on it. And uh, that's a very common uh, problem that happens to any engine. But I never saw something like this a real uh, a hole uh, actually a puncture on the piston the way this one has uh, it's pretty deep you can see it went through the piston um, uh, the piston is completely destroyed if you wonder you can reuse this piston no this is not possible so don't ask that question it's not possible to reuse this piston it's not possible to repair it as well so uh, but it is just this piston uh, the other pistons don't have any problems see they're pretty intact we don't have any type of problems in these pistons it is just that one right there just this one right here is the one that has the problem and that's the reason why we're doing this video to show you what was the reason then a piston has this uh, puncher in it so let's uh get down and now we're gonna see some other uh details about this problem and other details is then uh we have uh, a oil in the exhaust system you can see there is some wet marks see that's oil then was uh, getting released by the combustion chamber because the piston was completely you know letting all the lubricant fuel and everything out through the exhaust valve because that's the one that broke and also we have some in the EGR cooler see com completely damaged as well I mean like a, we can reuse this but the problem right here is then we have so much lubricant in the travel of the EGR cooler then once the engine starts running probably it's gonna smoke a lot even uh, on the exhaust system too it's gonna smoke a lot so that's something that we have to take care of or, or at least pay attention don't get scared like uh, uh, we start the engine and then the engine all of, I mean the the tailpipe all of the sudden start throwing smoke like crazy it's because that because we have this uh, a, a, uh, or lubricant a fuel or any any other type of material uh, fluids on on this exhaust system um, anyway um, we are going to uh, okay, Anyway, we are going to see this right here. This is the 
cylinder head balding broke from the uh, cylinder head see it's completely disattached from the uh, from the valve completely it is just the the rod basically the push rod or whatever this is called the, um, and the spring of the valve is right here so the um, head of the valve is completely gone and that's the uh, the part that seals uh, the compression of this engine um, but uh, we also gonna go check the head because the head um, is removed so we're gonna go and check it out so that way you guys can see what uh, is the following damage with this uh, um, what is the following problem uh, or what causes the problem to be honest let's Es el, uh, ese es el, ya le cambiaron la bomba, los inyectores más que todo, se baja la presión de volada. La bomba de cambiar. Oh, la bomba, sí, se baja la presión de volada. ¿Los inyectores? Sí. Sí, es la, 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 se baja, cuando nomás lo apagas, eh, la presión se baja a cero, casi inmediatamente. Ajá, está liquiando. Sí. All right, um, let's continue here. Um, okay, this is the cylinder head. Um, we have uh, the bottom area of the cylinder head. Let's try to get closer so we can uh, get a better picture of the problem. Uh, let's try to focus a little bit. Okay, let's see. Yes, okay, let me focus, let me try to get that. Uh, okay, right there. All right, see, that is the situation that we're having. Um, the cylinder head completely broken. You can see the chunks of metal completely released from the cylinder head. The cylinder ball is there, it's completely twisted. Uh, it got pushed in the uh, uh, seat of the ball and we have chunks of uh, material being removed from that valve layer and this one is completely out of seatment so it's completely uh, bent so it's not sitting properly anymore so it's uh, letting all the compression leak and uh, we also have some wet marks uh, somewhere in here you can see some wet marks it's pretty hard but it's all wet because it was releasing see right there it was releasing the, the the compression so all the fuel anything else was getting leaked from the compression uh, combustion chamber but it is just cylinder number one the other cylinders as i said before we don't have any issues see we don't have any issues with the other cylinders it's just the cylinder number one the one that is presenting this damage and it's pretty severe uh, but still this doesn't mean then the problem is less uh one cylinder has a problem we have to replace all the cylinders uh now uh, in the upper area of the cylinder head right here uh we have the missing cylinder head valve right there um yeah that one there is missing and the other ones are there still but they're all destroyed so it is basically just there so anytime they can be completely disattached from whatever is left uh, is holding the the bow and as I say the other ones don't have any type of problem so the other ones are in a good condition so so we're we're good in this area so it's just cylinder number one the one that suffered the major damage but as I say just because cylinder number one has the damage doesn't mean that it's not uh, a, okay to uh to reuse the head this head is completely destroyed so we cannot reuse it anymore uh this head has to be replaced either for a new one or a, a rebuild one or a used one depending on the circumstances okay now let's go back to the uh truck so we can talk the last uh, uh recommendations and and expenses then we have for this for this engine so uh what we have here is uh, basically the damage then uh when i uh, want to show it to you once again we have the hole right there and that hole is 
what is causing the major issue. Let's turn the radio a little down. Hold on. All right. So um, we um, we had to do the full overhaul. If you wonder what is the uh, repair for this engine, we have to remove the piston. And uh, since we're gonna remove this piston, we're gonna remove all the other pistons because it's going to be a full uh, rebuild uh, with the cylinder head and everything. Um, now, if you wonder what will be the cost, that will be the right question. What will be the cost to repair this engine? To repair this engine will be around like $9,000 the cheapest and it will be around like $20,000, $25,000 the more expensive uh, cost to repair this engine because it depends on uh, the parts and components. If you get uh, used parts, if you get new parts or rebuild parts. So all the, all the prices are going to vary based on that. And um, and also the label and everything else and depending where you wear the parts also is going to vary but that that's going to be very expensive and this is not going to be a cheap repair but anyway luckily the truck is here so we just need to wait until we uh, get the money to get it done and then depending on the on the budget of the owner of the truck that's how it's going to be repaired but uh, this is all I have for you. This is a problem that I didn't have, uh, uh, I never shown before. Something new, especially for a new uh, truck that is 2020, uh, a coming X15 engine. Uh, so, well, it's something new to expect for these engines. Uh, if you have any questions, comment below. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Francisco Mala YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you have any recommendations, anything else to add to this video, you are more than welcome to do. And thank you for watching.